You know how many people had the greatest hooks of all time and it died in their notepad because they weren't able to cook the whole meal? One of the things I've been trying to get some up and coming artists to really debate is like, if you're sitting with something fire but you can't figure out the rest of it, that should be the TikTok. You never know which up and coming producer hits you up. You have no idea if some, the next great ghost writers out there watching your shit, sees it in their For You page, hit you up, you know? So like, not like the first day because you got to play with it for a minute but like if you're like, damn, I've been stuck with this hook for six months. I didn't do shit with it. Let me just put it out. Something to think about. My hottest take right now, it's got a 10% chance of working but there's a new TikTok clone called Clapper. TikTok clone? TikTok clone. It's basically TikTok. Yeah. It's a new, oh, like another, TikTok. another one. Yeah. It's called Clapper. And if TikTok gets banned, mm-hmm. I could see a, Moderate. I could see a lot of people Moderate. going there. So it's a good thing for you to look there. Nobody's really on it. Yeah. You could be like kind of first mover. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, man, it's what's but so. It's doing most of the same thing. It's, it's like literally the same fucking app. Yeah. Yeah. You should download it. Whereas like. That's it. You should just, the, for someone like you, who's got the talent, it's all hacking culture. Of course you come through in promo and you wanna make sure all the right stations, all the right bloggers, all the right people are giving you love, but you don't wanna be at the mercy of any people or any, you wanna be at the mercy of the fans. I wanna put it in my own hands, like put them out in my own court. 100%. The only way to do that is two things. Put out good music, and make sure you know how to do social media proper. Hey, we got the first one. I know. <laughs> because in the world of him and I getting bombarded every day for shit like this, we keep it real tight. Like, we keep it with the people that we think got it like that. Mm-hmm. And honestly, at some level, if you're great at that first part, everything can work out, but you guys know this. You've been through it. You watched people move in the last 10 years. The people that really know how to hack the platforms, be up in culture properly, Diddy, when fucking TRL was in the middle of this city and every kid in 1998, owned, like, the TikTok of 1998 was TRL on MTV, yeah. that man used to leave his office and just crash the office in the middle of Carson Daly's show for what? Attention? He knew all those 15 year olds were watching at home and they're like, who's this guy? Yeah. Or like, let me get, or they were all listening to Britney Spears and in, Sync, and then they were listening to Mason Biggie. Like it's not super complicated. Your biggest job is to make sure for people to know who the fuck you are and why TikTok was crazy and why I was so loud about it in music is it was the first one that really put music in it. Yeah. Like of course there was music in, in Twitter and Facebook and Instagram but TikTok the music is like a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Chart. It's definitely you chart. Yeah. For, <laughs> now it's like I don't even say it because it's known. Four years ago when we were chopping up with people in here, I, you've seen I the videos. Four years ago when you were saying that, like, I seen you. Like, so I think smart. the other thing that I'm very hot on that you should think about is staying curious with music, yourself, or you, to figure out people to just fuck with, collab with. Yeah, I'm ve- not like Drake, so with Drake, he's so good at this, mm-hmm. but he's Drake now. Yeah. So anybody he DMs is gonna lose their fucking mind. For you, it's actually just like, what, and you know I'm hot on this. Yeah. Whether it's K-pop or country or pop or rock, just some different shit, you're gonna know because you're too cool. You guys are too cool. You're gonna know who's coming up in Atlanta. You know exactly who's coming up in Atlanta. You know who's coming up in hip hop overall. It's different shit. Because, you know, this, is, this was what I think Lil Nas X really understood. He understood memes. But then notice what put him to the stratosphere. Country. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that country took him all the way. And you guys are youngsters, but I don't know if you know about the whole Run DMC, you know, Aerosmith shit from the 80s. When Run DMC was coming up, it was really rock and roll before hip hop. Yeah. And Aerosmith was a huge band, and they did a collab together, Rock This Way, and changed everything. Changed everything. And like, I still think that move. Yeah, was the Stan Smiths come from, or they was already out? They were already out, but like they made it cool in hip hop and yeah. culture. Yeah, especially with the no laces. Yeah. I went to sixth grade with no fucking laces <laughs> on. <laughs> um, but I think that's something to keep in mind. The other thing could be crazy authentic. I always tell people, I don't know if your grandma or grandfather listened to music when you were a kid, but anything they loved and you secretly love, 
like Stevie Wonder or some shit like that. Bro, bro. That's how they even Josh. Yeah, yeah, we got some Jack Wee song came yeah. about. Just listen to R and B every day. Yes, sir. Like, Damn, let me go get this beat sample. Mm hmm. Cut close beat. That's exactly right. And then, like, as you progress, like, I always think about Nelly and Kelly Rowland, like that collab back in the day. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's that was yeah, that humongous. Was. I think that there's an opportunity for like the modern, ver- like, I feel like there's one sitting out there. And everything. Mm-hmm. Part, right. Yeah. right? You know what I mean? Took over the US. Yeah, and like if you remember the time, the reason it really mattered was like at the time, like Nelly was like street by like those standards, and Kelly was like an all American girl, you know, and Destiny's child. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's sitting out there right now. Mm -hmm. Somebody's gonna come like from like hood and like and like real like pop star girl, and there's there's something there. Mm -hmm. I'd be fucking with a lot of Summer Walker shit. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but yeah. This is exactly what I'm trying to get you. Exactly. If you're listening to shit and keeping yourself curious, and you're like, oh shit, that's some fire music, because you know, yeah, she make great music too. that's where you just DM her and be like, your shit's fire. And like, we don't know what's on her mind. Yeah. And she may be like, I'm looking to do something. You know what I mean? And that's you know, how. She from her roots is like really from Atlanta, so she used to be dancing at this club, Diamonds. Mm-hmm. So that's how I really even know her. From yep. Her going in there. She used to be working yep. before she even took off with the scene. Mm-hmm. That shit. And they didn't take her long either. Now shit, man. Look at Ice Spice. Like, it's one song yeah, now. Yeah. One sight, one moment, one hook. Exactly. That's another right. thing I've been, th- you know I'm hot on this too. Just putting, sh- you know how many people had the greatest hooks of all time and it died in their notepad? Yeah. Cause they weren't able to cook the whole meal. Yeah. They had the hook. Or they had the first foot, right? Yeah. One of the things I've been trying to get some up and coming artists to really debate is like, if you're sitting with something fire but you can't figure out the rest of it, that should be the TikTok. Make it a challenge, like, uh-huh. do this, yeah. You never know which pro- up and coming producer hits you up. You have no idea if some, the next great ghost writers out there watching your shit, sees it in their For You page, hit you up, you know? Yeah. So like, not like the first day, because you gotta play with it for a minute, but like, if you're like, damn. I've been stuck with this hook for six months. I ain't do shit with it. Let me just put it out. Something to think about. Yeah, I just upload up on YouTube and TikTok. It's like, yeah, I'll put you on yeah, put your own personal hood. A hundred percent. Yeah, bro, that's what Russ did with that fucking thing. And like, Somebody she, else did that too, I think. What? Russ is number one, first number one or whatever was biggest number one was like that song and that girl remixed it and he put her on it for the yeah. remix. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. did it on TikTok. Yeah. She's on, she's on fire right now. Is she? She's been yeah, building? Yeah, she's doing her thing. Good for her. Gotti did, that, no, uh, Gotti just did it. Gotti did it. Found her on TikTok. She yeah, she remixed song one of his songs. On he said the best oh, song yeah, we're gonna yeah, put yeah, on his exactly. album. Yeah, he did. Bro. Yeah. That's exactly right. But this is good, man, because we've been talking about TikTok, YouTube shorts, he wants his yeah. YouTube to pop. I wanted to get, I, I, at first I was getting my own, like just, I had my own traction to I was getting a million views. But Damn. I just had to stop mm-hmm. dropping, like, so I already knew that shit was going go down, but I just want to get the ball back in my court to where like. I've been posting a little YouTube shorts on his video, on his YouTube too, yeah. through my phone. I be trying to look for my shit, I don't never be yeah, seeing that. YouTube shorts? Yeah, I don't that, be that. That's on there, I've been posting them like lately, like all the new stuff we probably new go content, to the page, I've been posting them. You know? yeah. yeah. But yeah, I've been vlogging and shit like some three, four minutes, I just upload it to my YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like, right. we, keep it, we keep our cameraman with it. Every, 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 like, we don't have nothing, we gonna have content. Exactly. There is nothing else. Yeah, we Everything have content. Content. It's just a hundred. I mean, I've been on that kick for a minute. Okay, I got a question though. Go ahead. So, you know how you said, if like, to get attention, right? So what if the artist ain't really no attention seeking artist? Cause Tip don't really like seek attention. like. How is it a way but we work around? But he said it's an it? authentic way. Like he just he said, like he said it's some shit. Like just doing it in my own type of form. Like yeah, like yeah, that was saying. Yeah, all he's worried about is not. He doesn't want to do shit that's corny. Yeah, he that's it. You know what it is. Right. You just don't want to be corny. Yeah. By his judgment of what corny is, I keep telling people, don't do shit you don't want to do. Yeah. You know, don't think of it as like, you know, you know what it is. Everyone tries to be like, you know, I ain't that thirsty. Yeah. 
But I'm always like, and then, well, bro, somebody was somebody the other day said to me, Gary, but I'm not that thirsty. I'm like, but are you that ambitious? And she was like, yeah. She, I was like, she was simple. She was like, I'm just not that thirsty. And I was like, but are you that ambitious? She's like, hell yeah. And I was like. That's the same fucking word. You just decided yeah. to be cynical about it. Yeah, yeah. You got me, you know? Yeah. So like, yeah, he's not attention seeking. Yeah. Does he want to be the biggest star in the world? Yeah. So then go. Just don't, with the key for you, for him, is to not force the talent to do shit they don't just, want to do. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. it. That's what took me That's so long to drop. My That's it. I want to feel forced. When you feel forced. You know this, you know with me, Dustin, I'm the most everything, like about it, and. Justin, Dustin knows, like, if I'm not fucking, like, if I'm not feeling it that minute, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Cause then you're dead. If you're creative, you know you're dead if you don't feel it. Mm-hmm. Right, so I, think, so I think it's just perspective shift. Yeah. It's not about attention seeking, it's you want people to know about your shit. Mm-hmm. You can put out content in a million different ways. To your point, some people, you know, it's the same shit. The reason people don't do certain things is they see someone else do it in a corny way. Yeah. It's corny to them. And then they think the whole thing, that's, ready? TikTok. You know why everybody that fucking fucks with Mike Boyd didn't do TikTok? Because they're like, nah, that's that dancing girl shit. Mm-hmm. They didn't say that. And I don't have to dance. And you know what happened to all those people that four years ago we said go, go, go? Yeah, they're broke. They left paper on the table. <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. Yeah. You're not no, joking. Oh, yeah. And it's They're not about broke, it's about missed opportunity. Yeah. Right? It's just missed opportunity. So make sure when you guys are contemplating, when you're cooking in the lab, when you're strategizing, that you take away the way the person did it from is it the right move? Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Right? Otherwise, people put out corny rap songs. Yeah. Didn't stop you from making songs. Yeah. So don't fucking judge the platform or the strategy, make sure you separate that from, oh, I don't like the way that person does it, so don't do it like them. Yeah. But understand what it is. As a whole. Yeah, okay, yeah. Got it? That. Yeah. We're, that's, a, I mean, that's amazing right there. <laughs> <laughs> I just changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about documentation. But you said you was gonna send me some shit like to see like trends. I could pick from my own like what I wanna see like looking to like, Am I fucking with this or am I fucking with this type of thing? I think the biggest thing you need to be thinking about is is put out shit you believe you want to say, whether it's music or whether you just feel inspired. Like when you come when you come out of studio at two thirty and you feel like you really put in good work. If you just make a video and be like, you know, like this is what it is. You guys see all the glamour, but you didn't see me in the studio for the last six hours working. First four hours did not flow. I didn't feel it, I couldn't get it, but I didn't go home, like, like, you know, like just whatever it is, whatever it is, or big bro put me on with some good wisdom, or what, just real shit to you. Faith, love, by the way, escapism. Like, making a vi- him, you putting out a video on TikTok of you playing 2K, and you're like, look, I gotta do this shit sometimes too to clear my mind. People just are curious in people's process. That's why the documenting works, because it's real. That's why it worked for me. Yeah. Like, I'm what? Right now, just documenting everything, like, like making Bro, sure, like. 5.30, 6 o'clock, 6.15, 6.30, like, you understand? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's just, like, it helped people understand, like, when I started documenting, and people could really see it, they're like, oh, that's real work. Yeah. It helped them. Some people said, fuck that shit. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't need that. I'll be happy being a number three. Other people are like, that's what I want to do. Same shit with you. Whatever it is, the ability to storytell and paint people a picture of your truth is going to help people. And when you help people, then they really fuck with your product, your music. Right? The more people know about I mean, I'll give you a good example. Biggie. I always think to like why... He's one of the greatest storytellers. And not only was he, 100%. Yes. Like, it was similar to why I fucked with KRS-One before Biggie came out. I like people that when I listen, like I can see the whole story. Yeah. Like just me, just laying there and be like, but not only was Biggie a great storyteller, juicy, like 
his first song painted his life for you. You were friends with him from the get, yeah. right? I was like, damn, I had a, yeah. I had pictures on my wall too. You know, like, like you know, like from day one. Like I've been, I've been thinking about this lately. I'm like, damn, not only was he great at what he did, but the first thing that hit the radar that was, the first hit. That that was, was his first hit. hit. And so there was, there was party and bullshit. There was some other shit, but like the first like crossover, like that my friends in like every neighborhood knew who he was. It was that. And if you think about that song. He's just telling you about him. Yeah. He's like we're dreams. he's like we're friends now. He really just having to sit down, having a conversation with you. A hundred percent. For real. And th- and like that was his starting point. And I think that's a really small nuance to how crazy it all went for him, other than the crazy talent and the marketing machine that was Diddy and all of it. But that's what we're all trying to do. People fuck with me because I'm a Jets fan. People fuck with me because I still go to garage sales and buy shit for a dollar and sell it for nine dollars. Yeah. People will, you know, like people fuck with people for different reasons. You got to show them all your reasons. Mm. 2K and grinding and being insecure. Like I just fucking, I just took this song off the fucking, you know, like you know what I mean? Yeah. The real is shit, right? You know. Give them everything. Give them everything that let you're willing. Let, let them. Let them pick. pick. Love that. Let them pick. And the thing that people that like are cool always struggle with is showing a little bit of their nerdy side. I keep telling people that are cool as fuck, like, yo, tell people you watch these cartoons or eat this cereal. Or- a lot of people don't even know nudie watch anime. I mean, watch anime like motherfucker though, but. The reason anime is, anime is so cool is people like Pharrell came along and started telling the truth of their nerdy side and it made it cool. Yeah. 25 years ago, there was no anime crossover hip hop. Dragon Ball Z? You couldn't find no fucking hip hop artist wearing Dragon Ball Z shit. Now people feel more comfortable because of people like, I think Pharrell, that whole movement really mattered. But then you had people like Yachty. Yachty came out and was just like, this is like, I'm doing silly yeah, shit. Yeah, I've been like this since I was a uh-huh. So, like, all that shit, like Lego. Like, if some street rapper who's fucking fire comes out and like really talks about being obsessed with Legos, they're gonna have all the 10 year old fans. And now you you are so young, you guys did grow up on Roblox and Minecraft and some other shit like that. So like connect. Man, just get your shit. Right and the there. brands are gonna hit you, bro. Yeah, yeah. So. And you know what with Gary? He also got a lot of people fucking with him because he curses all the time. So it doesn't always have to be positive either. Well, what Mike's talking about because he's been with me for a minute, that didn't even seem like anything too crazy. But in 2009, yeah. when I was a real businessman, and I was going to keynotes, and I'm talking like fucking Chris Rock. People are like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like I was, <laughs> like, and I was wearing a T-shirt and not a suit. And so, like, my, you know, when Mike says that in 2023, it almost doesn't register. It's like, okay, because everyone kind of curses, but like, you're just affected by being in the huddle back in 2009 when people were yelling at me like, "You'll never have a speaking career. Yeah. You'll never be taken serious." And this goes back to just being authentic, whether it's I nerd out on Legos, I just didn't know how not to curse, it's how I talk. I just, is, it is, it's in me. And I was kind of, and honestly I was just like, you know what, I can't win the other way. I'm not, I'm not good at not being me. So I'd rather take the L because it's not gonna be good anyway. It's not gonna work anyway. I'm gonna be thinking too much on stage. Like if I was a rapper, I would write nothing. I would go studio, boom, that's, yeah, that's, that's, what I, that's my, that'd be my process, just, I just said in the interview, I was telling like, I feel like everything, with, what I do now is like, that should be more like, it's playing in your head, it'd be more genuine thoughts going into the shit type shit, like, it don't be more like, sort of, man, go to the studio, go record, bro, you need to go here, you need to go there, it don't be that, like, it just be me on my own time, hey, could you just set the studio up? You ain't even gotta be there. I'd be there just me and the You're ready. Exactly. Hundred percent. And just you know how it is. Thoughts are just running. It's how I. You you started to get to understand to my keynote style. It's just like I, I have no idea what the fuck I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> I know I know shit's running through my head. I know there's things I'm paying attention to. Anyway, last thing. Have you been paying attention to this Chat GPT, all this AI shit? Do you know about this? Yeah, that artificial intelligence. Mm-hmm. I think, he sent, I think it's kind of what you sent me on Instagram. I remember it was like AI taking over people's jobs. Oh yeah. I, I don't know exactly that. what I it is, but I know I've been seeing do a lot me, of stuff do me, AI. do me a favor. Go to chat G, Google chat GPT, open AI, go play with it. Just play with it. 
I think it's gonna help a lot of artists write songs, figure out hooks, figure out titling songs. I think it's gonna be part of the creative process in a decade, maybe less, five years. But again, you guys are youngsters on the come up. This could be some shit. Plus, they've been just referencing AI in your music. It's gonna start. Mm-hmm. The YouTube TV? Yeah. YouTube's crazy. Yeah, I pay for that shit so I don't get no ads, no nothing. I just be focused. What do you consume? Some everything. Mm. Damn everything. Like, That's the best part. No you just point, like it's no specific topic. I just some days I watch some funny shit like Drewski funny. Yeah, <laughs> love Drewski. And then I go watch some other shit that's like more. And then the videos. algorithm shows you something you found. Yeah, you know, exactly. two hours later you're like, how the fuck did I get here? Like, yesterday I got them. I heard, I heard them talking about this shit like that. What that shit in the contracts with the rappers? Oh, they like, saying like the I, Dev clause. Oh yeah, I heard shit. them talk about it, but I didn't say shit. I just go upstairs in the room, just to get on Learn. YouTube and just same shit for me. Mm-hmm. 